Hi there, this is Caitlin from Haley Public Library, and today we're working on Take and Make Summer Projects Spa Night Kit. Before we get started, let's go over a few things you'll need besides your kit. First, you'll need two large bowls. One of the bowls needs to be heat resistant, like glass or stainless steel. You'll also need a small bowl that is microwave safe, a medium sized pot for boiling water, a whisk or a fork, and last, a plate to set your project on. We are going to be starting our project today with the lotion bar. As you can see, I already have our pot filled with boiling water and our heat resistant bowl on top, making sure that none of the water is actually touching the bowl. We're going to start off by putting our coconut oil into the bowl. This is the coconut oil that is labeled three tablespoons, not three quarters tablespoon. The three quarters tablespoon is for later on in the project. Set that one aside. We're also going to be popping in our shea butter. Both of these ingredients can get stuck to the side, so try to squeeze that out as best as you can. And finally, we are adding in the beeswax pellets. These ones are also a little tricky and sometimes get stuck to the bag, so get those out as best as you can. We are now going to take out our whisk and make sure that these ingredients are nice and combined. Uh, all of the ingredients will eventually combine if you let them heat in that double boiler that we've made, but it's nice to give it a good whisk every once in a while to make sure that everything is as combined as possible. It's now been a few minutes of heating our liquid items and whisking them every few seconds or so, and you can see that we are almost done with everything being almost completely melted down. With the final few stirs of our whisk, we are ready to get this into our mold. I like to place the mold on a plate so that there's no spillage. Your heat resistant bowl will be hot, so please do use some pot holders to lift that off of your boiling water. And go ahead and set your boiling water aside. We are now going to be adding in our vanilla essential oil. Be sure that you only use half of what's in your little cup Otherwise, your project's going to be smelling very strong, <laughs> maybe too strong. So just use half of that. Grab the whisk we were using before and be sure to give the vanilla essential oil a good stir to make sure it is all incorporated. Now we are very carefully going to be pouring that hot liquid into our mold, trying not to overfill it as it will spill all over your plate and make a big mess. Uh, so I'm taking little increments to make sure I have it just about even with the top of the mold. We're going to take that mold full of our hot liquid and pop it into the fridge, preferably overnight to make sure that it gets hardened up and that everything is completely solid. Once your lotion bar has chilled overnight, we are ready to demold. Just very carefully peel away the mold from your lotion bar and it is ready to be used. As soon as you start handling it, it'll start to melt because the temperature of your skin is so warm. You can use it as a lotion, as a massage bar, but it smells so nice, is so moisturizing, and is super fun. Next, we are ready to get started on our bath bombs. Using our second large bowl, we're gonna first add the SLSA, and this is going to be the first of our dry ingredients. Next, we're adding in the baking soda. And finally, the citric acid. Grabbing our whisk once more, we're going to make sure that our dry ingredients are thoroughly combined. The most important part in this step is making sure that all of those little clumps are broken up so we have a nice, smooth mixture. 
Once we're done mixing the dry ingredients, we're going to grab our microwave safe bowl and our coconut oil that is labeled three quarters tablespoon, not three tablespoons. That's for the first part of the project. We're going to take that and pop it in the microwave. Mine took about a minute until it was completely liquid. We're then going to add half of our vanilla essential oil. We use the first half in the first half of the project. If you use too much, it'll be way too strong. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of food dye. This is optional and yours will come in another one of those little plastic cups. We're gonna take those ingredients and stir them again with our whisk and try to get that as best incorporated as we can. If there are little speckles of dye, that's completely normal. That's because our dye is gel. Just try to incorporate it as best as you can. Now we're gonna grab our dry ingredients from before and our wet ingredients, and we're gonna try our best to not leave a little clump of coconut oil in the middle of our dry ingredients. So we're gonna whisk it as we go to try to get it best incorporated. To get all of that coconut oil out of the bowl, I'm gonna take a little scraper and just make sure that I've got all that goodness into our dry ingredients. Give your concoction another good whisk to make sure everything is incorporated. It's going to look a little bit chunky to start, but that will smooth out once you get it incorporated. And you can see how that dye is no longer speckly like it was when it was just in the wet ingredients. This is when it all starts to look nice. When it's ready, it'll feel like sand a little bit wet. This is the part where you can use your gloves if you'd like to, because we're going to be smooshing our bath bomb into shape. It's kind of like making a snowball where you're gonna go back and forth, trying to keep it as solid as you can. If it breaks apart, you're probably using a little bit too much pressure. I did that a couple of times and it'll crumble pretty easily because it's very delicate, but that is okay. That is the way it's supposed to be because when we cure it, it'll harden up and it'll be ready for the bath. Once you've gotten most of the ingredients into your hands and formed a ball, then we are ready to let it set and we're going to have it set overnight. I took my plate from the project before and placed it on there. I put mine on my kitchen counter. My friend put hers on top of her refrigerator, but you're gonna let it rest overnight. Once your bath bomb is completely cured, it is ready for bath time. Just pop it in some hot water and it will give off a show. You're going to get beautiful color, beautiful smell, and your bathtub is going to be full to the brim with fizz. Thank you all so much for joining us for Take and Make Summer Projects Spa Night Kit. Don't forget to share your creations with us on Facebook and Instagram with the hashtag HPL Take and Make, and we will see you in the next project.